Hey everyone. So, some substantial news about Destiny, SRL, and the Winter Update has come out, and actually it is some things that I was not personally expecting. Destiny's Winter Event will be called The Dawning, and as expected features the return of Sparrow Racing League. It's starting on Tuesday, December 13th, and it runs until January 3rd. That's three weeks in total. We're getting the two returning maps on Mars and Venus, and two new tracks, one set on Mercury and one set on Earth. So that is four tracks in total, which is a nice bonus. Uh, also a bunch of new sparrows to earn and probably purchase as well, and new armor pieces, shaders, and emblems related to the event. Looks as though the tower will get a winter makeover, similar to the Festival of the Lost. All pretty cool stuff. I enjoyed SRL and did pretty well at it, so this is all welcome news. As a bonus, SRL will even be staying around after the event has ended, but only in private matches. I'd rather see it stay as a permanent playlist, or at least as a monthly deal like Iron Banner, but I will take what I can get. SRL is fun stuff, and it's a fun alternative to killing everything. We're also getting some single player stuff in this, which was also expected, but not quite in the way we all might have thought. First off, the big news. Three old strikes are being revamped for year three and or Sivified. The Will of Crota, the Shadow Thief, and the Nexus Strike. Yeah, the one everybody wanted back. Can't wait to face that one down in a solo nightfall, as that one burned me a few times in year one. And the next big news, Icebreaker is returning to year three, with a new look and in a quest of sorts. Ditto for the Solo Lord and Void Lord exotic machine guns that we heard about ages ago, which are elemental alternatives to the Thunder Lord. Those will be locked behind exotic quests, and that's the next part. Strikes and now the Weekly Nightfall are getting a Prison of Elders-like scoring system, with you earning points and medals for various kills, sprees, etc. This will also include new bounties from Zavala that will be specific to the Strikes and the scoring system. I think it's been confirmed already that Icebreaker can drop as a reward for completing this new Nightfall bounty. No news on the Swirly Head Flame returning for completing the Nightfall, but I think the Icebreaker bit more than makes up for that. Bungie swore once that we'd never see the Icebreaker return to the game, and now it is. Even if you've never cared for the weapon, it's good news to have an old favorite returning to the game. It would also seem that we're getting new armor and shaders that will be rewards for completing these strike bounties, which again, is awesome. It gives people that enjoy the strikes and that chill grind something more to do, and the scoring will help make it competitive. As an unexpected side bonus, maybe we can stop getting shitty teammates in the strike playlist that either refuse to participate, or who do the bare minimum to get by. Try hards on the strikes, I say bring it on. I enjoy a challenge, especially if some rewards are in the mix for doing well both individually and as a team. What this all means is that Destiny is getting a refresher for winter and I am really, really happy about it. The game we all love is getting more stuff to see and do, hard to complain about that. So that's it for me, as always thank you very much for watching, I look forward to beating you all on the racetrack, and I'll see you around Guardians. Deploy those things. Who knows what their minds can do?